to Alabama. And as the Islanders men's season comes to an end, Chris has your wrap up of what this crew did for the community. The Islanders knew it was going to be a tough ask. They were playing number one Alabama in Birmingham, just 50 minutes away from the Tides campus. It was a heavy crimson crowd here at the Legacy Center. But even given all that, they kind of withstood the big first half surge from Alabama, went down 20 into the break, cut it to 13. Trey Tennyson had all 20 of his points after the break. In the end, though, the Tide proving why they were the number one overall seed heading into the tournament. And they're a great team, so they just replied. They just answered back, and the same way we came out in the second half and answered their first half, of, like the way they played in the first half. You know, we had to come out and answer that, and they just answered back. So I mean, they have a chance to win the national title. So I mean, they're a good team. Texas A&M Corpus Christi did what most other teams could not against Alabama: stop Brandon Miller, a projected NBA lottery pick. Now, despite Alabama coach Nate Oates saying after the game that Miller was nursing a groin injury, the Islanders still were able to hold him scoreless throughout. A feat not lost on Coach Lutz. I don't know the young man. I know that I watched him on tape, and he's really, really good. Um, so for us to have, you know, collectively done the job that we did on him defensively is a feather in our cap. For the Islanders, it's been a magical ride, not just this week, but really the last two years with back-to-back -back trips to the big dance. No matter what happens going forward, it's safe to say you've been seeing the golden era of Texas A&M Corpus Christi basketball. Come in this season, like, we're just focused on what we could do. We believe in us, you know, and uh, we believe that we could do this and make history. So we made it, and we're all happy and proud for that. This lets people know that Texas A&M Corpus Christi is going to be a force in the Southland Conference to be reckoned with. Um, we've raised the bar. Now, you know, we've got to do the hardest thing, and that's to keep it at a high level. So now the next storyline might be Steve Lutz. You make the tournament the first two years as a head coach, people are going to come calling. It's just a matter of whether or not he answers those calls or not. But we'll see what happens in the next days or maybe even the coming weeks. Reporting from Birmingham, Chris Thomason, Green News. See you soon, Coastal Ben.